Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue, a very, very, very hungover Jeff Solo. Um, <laughs> I've just been away for a couple of days, so apologies about my voice. Um, I've just been away for a couple of days uh, with my pals, uh, it was my best pal's birthday, uh, so I've been indulging in a ridiculous amount of whiskey, um, and I'm just just about feeling good now um, it was two solid days Wednesday Thursday so um, aye. Uh, sorry Tuesday Wednesday so I'm starting to feel okay now uh, but I'm gonna get cracked into this because I've got a fucking huge haul of stuff to show you I tried it earlier on just fanning about showing you bits uh, but this tripod makes it a bit straighter and we'll just quickly rattle through so apologies if I'm going too quickly I might turn this into two parts actually so on part one we'll do I'll tell you what we'll do Part one will do the stuff I know, right? So, to start off, I got this thing. Um, it's the sort of, is it a dragonfly's um, sort of launcher, if you will. So I got that. Um, bits that I know. I got this guy, the Power Rangers Lord Zed. I also got his weapon, so that was quite good. Um, also got this guy. Now this guy is from Reboot, a 1995 cartoon. So I picked him up a treat, so there he is. Um, what else did we get that I know? There's a few here. This guy, who's like not a scorpion, but he's a he's a Toy Biz Marvel DC Toy Biz eh, Marvel DC Marvel Toy Biz. Um, and I think I can't remember the action he does, but there you go. Move his arm, and that thing fires off over his head. So that's quite good. So he was quite a good one. And then we got Gambit, the Toy Biz one. Nice figure. And Bruce Wayne, this is the one where you clip all the armor onto him and you push that down and you push a Batman head onto him. I had this, well, I didn't have this one personally. My brother had this one as a kid. I've got some of the armor for him as well. Um, then we got, I'm sorry, I should have been a bit more prepared. <laughs> but nothing but professionalism on this channel as always. Plus I'm hungover, so give me a break here. Yeah? Uh, first up, uh, Street Shark, one I've not seen before actually. Then I've got Chip Hazard, not bad. Uh, another Street Shark, I've had this one before. I'm not a big fan of Street Sharks, so I'll be looking to get rid of those. Uh, next up, I've got some knockoff gladiators. There's that guy, uh, that guy, and that guy. I think it's the same as the other one. Uh, then we got a knockoff kind of wrestler He-Man type thing. So yeah, pretty sweet. Uh, we also got a batter to buggery Cyclonus G1 with no with missing arms. When I seen this guy in the box, I was thinking, yes, jackpot. But it turns out he's fucked. <laughs> so a bit of a bummer because I really want him. Uh, then we got a Hot Wheels car which opens its mouth. I remember these when I was younger. I think it's 1993 or something like that. Let's have a look. 1993. Spot on, Jeff. Spot on. It's one of those. Um, picked up a Mario figure. And a Robocop figure. That's pretty cool. Could change the battery in him. But I've always wanted a Robocop figure. Had them when I was a kid. Fucking lost them all. Um, what else did we get? Oh, these are good. A couple of um, battle trolls. There's that guy, all multicolored and looking beastie. His hair is pretty long. I think the other one, his hair has been cut, which is a bit of a bummer. But yeah, quite cool. Never owned any battle trolls, so I won't be keeping those, but you know, trading them, selling them, who knows. Next up, I've got Master of the Universe Orko, looking mysterious. I think it's Orko. Orko? Yeah, I'm sure it's Orko. Uh, then a few other bits. I got this guy. Actually, we won't do that because I don't know what that is. We'll do these vintage Star Wars figures. Got a Ewok. That's the healer, I believe. Everyone's favourite, Lando Calrissian. And a Rebel Soldier. So that's good. Well, that could be Luke, actually, not a Rebel Soldier. No, I think it is a Rebel Soldier. Yeah, I think it is, I think it is. Uh, then we got some G.I. Joe figures. We got this guy. 
He's quite rare actually. I don't think they're his legs, but the top part and his and his arms. Uh, he's quite a rare figure. I think he was a mail away only, so that's quite cool to have him. Uh, a street fighter, or maybe the sort of more modern versions. I'm not 100% sure who he is. I'd have to look him up. Um, I don't think he's street fighter. I think he's just a modern version of the. They had a ninja range. I think that's who he is. Uh, this guy's called Payload. I had him as a kid, so happy to have him back. I think I've already got him actually. And uh, Cobra Commander, a new reincarnation of him. So that's quite cool. Uh, then we got a Luke Skywalker Power of the Force. Quite nice. And what else did we get that we know? Oh, I these guys. Um, got some a Captain Scarlet figure, a Stingray figure, Troy Tempest. is a bit fucked on his helmet, on his helmet, on his hat, but not bad. Uh, and a Captain Black as well. A bit paint wear, but not too bad. Uh, then we also try to pick, pick things that I know what they are. Here's some, here's a few battle beasts. Uh, got this guy who which I already have, so he might be up for trade. Um, this guy. Really like the battle beasts. I never had them as a kid, but I'm getting right into them. I just think they're, they're pretty small, but they're chunky as you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, they're pretty beasty. And uh, this guy who is really he's my favourite one. Still got the holograms and shit, so pretty cool. Uh, what else do I know? Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, Beetle Borg. Quite good, in fact, in immaculate condition. Apart from one of his aerials is missing, which is a bit shit. But other than that, he's so he's minty, minty fresh, almost brand new. So that's a bit unfortunate about that. And a Ghostbuster figure. That's him. Uh, what else do I know? These I know. This I know. These I know. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> uh, Biker Boys from Mars. It's him. Him. I've got all three of them. And this guy who's quite yellowed. Uh, yeah, that's quite cool. And then I got Shadow from the British Gladiators. Quite a racist name in the 90s. <laughs> Um, I don't think they get away with that now, but uh, he was one of my favourites actually. He was quite, he was a big, big boy, so he could do some serious damage. Uh, then we had some boglins, some mini boglins. This guy picking his nose. This is my favourite one, boy with a bomb. I love him. And uh, this guy's pulling a big, smiley, tonguey face. Blah, 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 blah. So that's him. Uh, what we on? What time wise? Seven fifty one. We'll try and make it ten minutes for this one, folks. Uh, just try and show you stuff that I know before I go into the stuff I haven't got a fucking scoop about. Um, right, okay. It's uh, This is a top of a turtle's sweet dispenser, I think. So that's quite nice. Um, I think that's She-Ra. Somebody will probably correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think that's who that is. So that's quite nice. Uh, a couple of mini Mighty Maxes with the Mighty Maxes inside, so there's the wee Mighty Max and he comes in a little head so that's quite cool um, I've got one complete with the Mighty Max I've also got this one complete with his Mighty Max, so that's quite cool um, what else, what else, what else, what time are we on? 8.41, this is Rapido folks, apologies for this but just want to make sure I cover everything um, a Power Rangers uh, bike Quite a vintage one actually from the 90s, uh, so that's quite smart. I think it's all pretty much there, um, so yeah, quite cool. I think I've got a whole pile of missiles as well, but I'll have to find those again. Uh, somewhere around. Uh, this is a Biker Mice from Mars bike. Not all there, but I'm sure I've got the parts for it somewhere. Found the two front pieces, so not bad. And finally, in this video, folks. Something probably really boring. <laughs> oh no, we've got a couple of bits. Uh, we've got this guy, um, Power Ranger-esque type fella. Can't remember his name, but someone will probably tell me. And a Thunderbird 4. So, that's that. Sorry that was a bit of a rush. I've just got to do this other video of the stuff that I haven't got a clue about. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, uh, apologies again for it going rapido. But I'm a bit hungover and I've just got to belt it out. Toot sweet. Cheers for watching. See you later.